so we did the women in the last one you can check it out here but now we're going to do the top eight male wrestlers or men the issue with this is i actually haven't watched any wrestling outside of wwe and aew watched a little bit of tna impact but i did watch for the um I was going to say Molly Holly for a second. Mickey James story, who is obviously, obviously going through her. If she loses in a match, that's it. She retires phase. So I know a bit more TNA women than I do men, apart from Cardoza because of the rumors. But this is just my top eight. This is just mainly WWE, AEW. I actually quite dominated from AEW. I was surprised. Like the last video, please comment your eight favorite or top wrestlers of 2022 like subscribe share and let's jump into this Streamcast. the following contest is a fatal four-way match good match a main eventer since day one but now the tribal chief is tougher than ever. John Oxley! Ruthless aggression is alive and well, and this superstar is living proof. Being a WWE superstar requires a lot of physical talent, but a night like this in a no disqualification match, it's clear that creativity and imagination are equally important. Oh, there's no doubt about it, Michael. If you can imagine a weapon, see an object, or recruit an ally, you can change the course of this match in a heartbeat. If you can dream it, you can do it. So we'll see who can dream the biggest here. Counter, counter their own. He's able to sidestep there. At all times, utilize KG maneuvers. No one attack can come out of nowhere. Those veins. Oh, that was pretty cool. Staved off that attack. Snapmare takeover. Follow by. Able to give him the slip. Oh, look at that scoop slap. Pendulum. Big time. He's taking some good hits. He saw it coming, taking advantage. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Oh, that's not going to be pretty. Cesaro, Shinsuke Nakamura, even his best friend Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn is out of control. Last time you saw that much drip, you called a plug. And his opponents, first from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins, Chris Jerry. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. And from New York, weighing in at 232 pounds, MJF. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. And throw him out the He knows I'm sitting right back. 
Swung and mulled. Trying again. As you can see, it's a ladder match. I'm going to be very quick for this one. There's no entrances. I'm trying to improve from the other video. Um, I'm thinking of the other video. Let's just do this very quickly. One, did not expect this to be the final. How the last match ended, I thought Seth would win. I'm going to run down my list quickly. Um, Seth, number one, favorite wrestler this year. The, I think people confuse consistency with averageness. He's been consistently amazing this year. And if it wasn't for the situation with Roman Reigns, there's no way in hell he wouldn't be one of the WWE champions. I think the only reason why he's in the conversation for winning the title at WrestleMania is because of how good he's actually been. He's been incredible. And I have a funny feeling his face turn has something to do with that. I think he won't keep... He'll keep facing to bring up, obviously, Austin Fury, which is great. They have decent matches. I mean, who doesn't Seth has... Is this really worth it in another match? Who, Seth, who doesn't Seth have great matches with? But he's been incredible. And I would love for him to win this match because he deserves those flowers. But he is not in this match. Um, I'm going to run through the rest of this quite quickly. Roman Reigns, number two. MGF is actually number three. Oh, not this quickly. Okay, good. Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. They're going to win four already. It is going to be a quick match. Roman's going to win. Whoever wins this is going to win the title. That's so annoying. It is going to be a best of three. I just wanted it to just be one and one. God, this is tense. It's, 
yeah, MGF3, even though he's had six matches, he's been incredible. Moxley, four. Jericho, five. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this... Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Don't climb up too. Let's make a match of this. Miss. You missed, but Roman went orange. It's so weird. Or maybe I missed something. Okay. If this, this match seems short already, I feel like someone's going to win quite quickly. I'm really surprised MJF won. Um, CM Punk in six. Oh, I can't remember my own list. This this match is just confusing me. Oh, uh, hit him with a. Oh. Okay, Seth one, Roman two, MJF three, Moxley four. Chris Jericho 5, he's been amazing this year. Cassidy 6, Punk 7. Punk's been really good. He should be it. If it was if it wasn't for MJF being so good in the ring and on the mic, obviously everyone will move up. Sami saying sorry, eight. It should be hey, where am I going? I'm gonna start again. Seth Roman MJF Moxley. Seth, Roman, MJF, Mox, ooh, Moxley, so that's your four. You're going to hit him for spear, Jesus, Roman. Glad is in the way. Fair enough. Jericho, five. Who else have you got? That's quite clever. Jericho 5. I know Cassidy 7. Am I forgetting someone? Punk 6. Cassidy 7. Zayn 8. Zabby so Zayn's had a great year and he had decent matches, but I think the storyline's carrying him quite a bit. That's just my opinion. Obviously, everyone would disagree with that, but that's just how I feel. I probably said it differently like 10 times. My top 3 hasn't changed though. He's going to win it. I, it's enough time. If he wins it, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh my gosh. Um, don't mess it. Um, Maxwell. <laughs> Roman's funny. Oh my god. Next one, he actually goes to grab it, wins. I get. Oh my goodness! My. Well, my number two becomes the number one as he is the winner of the top eight men's wrestler this year. Mr. Reigns with a third title. And there he is with his flowers. Who would have thought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a short one, one and a half, whatever. Ladder matches and cage matches aren't great when you do computer against computer. So I'm looking at my list again because I did write it down. I did get all the names. So Seth, Roman, MJF, John, top four. Jericho, Punk. Cassidy, no, yeah, Cassidy Zane. That's it. That's my top eight. Let me know your top eight in the comments. Let me know if you like the video. The end is very typical of WWE. Roman Reigns wins everything. Brit won, and I can tell you why. It's because of her overall. The reverses were stupid high, so I need to change that. But she still claims it. She won twice. Nothing really can do. 
but yeah, I would say arguably the people who lost in the finals were probably a lot of people's main for this year. But there you have it. Thank you for watching. Keep it locked in with the streamcast as we look to towards 2023 and some of the breakout stars we hope 